Hi, I'm Nick Shell, and I assume you're watching this video because you've seen me perform my newest song called Astronomy. And if you haven't seen that, then you click the link below and there's a link and you can watch this three and a half minute song. I'm so proud of this song. So much went into this. And I feel that in writing this song, it really clicked with me that I feel maybe compared to the average human being. Perhaps I don't experience emotions in the same ways that people easily have access to. And I think that I fully realize that I have to write songs in order to understand my emotions and to understand what I'm really sorting through on a subconscious level. And I feel like this song is, is easy evidence of that. Uh, so this is called Astronomy. And I want to tell the backstory of this song and then I'll go through the lyrics. So I am someone who is definitely fascinated by looking up at the stars at night. And yes, there's this whole concept of, oh, it reminds you of how small we are. But for me, it's not about that. It's, I guess, in a different perspective, it's we live in an ancient creation. Here we are in modern day and I can look up at these stars and these are the same stars that people use as their roadmap to travel and to know how to you know, raise crops. The stars used to really matter to people like that was their calendar, that was their roadmap. It was all these things. In modern day we don't really depend on that like we used to. But yet still in modern day with all of our technology and knowledge that we have we can still look up and we see that ancient evidence. And I say evidence uh, pointing back to God, that God is the creator. Uh, so there is, there's that concept of an appreciation for looking up at, at the stars. So that's why I call it astronomy. Because when you look up what is astronomy, it's studying the stars and, and how that has an effect on us. So as far as the lyrics, here we go. I look up at the stars and the constellations, God's ancient map for us here below. It's an open-ended universe. Are we the only intelligent life? All I know, God is behind it all. And then the, the chorus is, living is random, dying is weird. Uh, I don't know what will happen, so much is unclear, and I'm still here. So the chorus, and ultimately I will tell you the chord progression of the song. It was something that a couple months ago during this summer, we went out to Oregon and it was my mother-in-law's 80th birthday. So we were all out there. My wife has nine of 10 kids. And this was the first time in the 16 years that my wife and I had been married that all 10 siblings were there together at the same time. So it was a really big deal for my mother-in-law's 80th birthday. And um, a couple weeks later, uh, one of my sisters-in-law, one of my wife's sisters, suddenly passed away at age 55. And I mean, it was one of those things, but I just saw her, I just talked to her, I, I thanked her for her help and setting up the party and one of those things where, but for me, I, I guess a lot of people, they don't, I don't know how to process death, I don't know how to process someone dying, I don't know how to deal with that. And again, I've established, I'm not, I don't really have connection with my emotions that maybe other people will. So it's not like I could really grieve or cry or like, how do I, how do I process this? And so I pick up the guitar and I start strumming and that was this chord progression. My wife walked in, she's like, that's really good. I really like that. And the words pretty easily presented themselves. It, this is a song about me processing the passing of my sister-in-law after I just saw her, after we were just out in Oregon. This next verse, I look out from the Oregon coast into the ocean. I see the edge of the world, but I don't feel alone. I look out from reality into the abstract. All I know, God is behind it all. So there's the entire lyrics to the song. Uh, but as far as the second verse, uh, it was our favorite family vacation ever. Being there on the Oregon coast, I love, I love so much uh, that coast, the Pacific coast. Uh, 
I don't, I don't like warm, sandy, sunny beaches. I actually like, I like the Pacific Coast a lot better, uh, especially in the Northwest. There's this certain gloom to it. There's this fog. There's this quietness to it. I love it. It's a certain level of serenity, and there's not a lot of, you know, people woo doing all that stuff. It's just really peaceful. I love it. And so I mentioned here that, you know, I'm looking at the edge of the world. I'm looking uh, from reality into the abstract, and that's something I've, I don't know, I've been fascinated for years now. I remember years ago on my website talking about this that it's easy for us in our lives. Here's my hand. Oh, there's outside the window. There's a tree. We can see these things that are right in front of us. But what's fascinating is that the more you pan the camera out, the more this all seems abstract. Or we can look into the stars and like, oh, well, that's, that's abstract. Because we don't know what's out there. So it's easy to look at what's here and think, this is reality. But reality is also everything else, this open-ended universe. And that's, that's fascinating to me. Because it, I feel it forces us to question, why are we here? How are we here? And ultimately, we get to decide. This is nothing came from nothing, and here we are part of a cosmic accident, or there's a creator who created all of this and created us. And I feel like instinctually, we know that if there is a creator behind all of this, then he knows who we are. And he wants to know us. And he wants us to recognize him. And he wants us to love him. He wants us to love each other as he loves us. So to me, Christianity speaks to me in this way. And I think that's another part of the inspiration of this song is I'm always sorting out my Christian faith and understanding what motivates me. Why, why do I believe in it? Even if I don't want to, even if I try not to, I still do. And I think it has a lot to do with me simply looking around at creation and knowing this is way beyond me. This is way beyond human knowledge. And it's way beyond some kind of accident. It's way too intricate. It's way too planned and detailed. And then as human beings, we look around and think, well, I'm, I'm here. And so that's why at the end of the song, I keep saying, uh, so I say, I don't know what will happen so much is unclear and I'm still here. And that's reference back to my sister-in-law passing away. And it's like, so now she's gone. She doesn't live here anymore, but I'm, I'm still here. So what am, what am I still here for? And I, that question being a, universal question that we all ask. For me, this experience keeps pointing me back to this fascination that I can look up at the stars and to me, I feel God, I see God, I understand God through that simple little action that this forsaken science of looking into the stars, it's still there. If you haven't, Watch me perform the song again. You can click the link below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.